We're working on review lesson four. We're going to be solving word problems involving standard units. So K has two and a half feet of ribbon. How many inches is that? Well, we know that one foot is equal to 12 inches. Okay? So that is our metric. Now, we have two whole feet here. So we're going to do two feet times 12 to get 24 inches. But we're not done because I have a half a foot here. So how many inches would be half a foot? Well, 12 divided by 2 because that is what my whole is broken into. It's broken into two equal parts. So this is the whole broken into two equal parts. So we have 6 inches are in half a foot. So we need to do 24 inches plus 6 inches. 24 plus 6 is 30 inches. So her ribbon is 30 inches. How do you know that 3 feet and 6 inches is less than 48 inches? Well, let's convert this to find out. So 3 feet and 6 inches. We know that 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. Make sure you're writing all of these notes down. So I need to multiply 3 times 12 to get my number of inches. 3 times 12 is 36, but remember I need to add 6 to this because it's 3 feet and 6 inches, so 6 plus 6 is 12, 42 inches. So I know that 3 feet 6 inches is equal to 42 inches, therefore it is less than 45 inches, oh, 48, excuse me, 48 inches. What is the equivalent measurement to three yards? Is there another a possibility? So we need equivalent, equivalent, remember, means the same or equal to to three yards. Well, we know that one yard is equal to three feet. So an equivalent measurement would be just to figure out how many three yards are in how it is written in feet. So we're going to do three times three, and we get nine feet. So three feet is equal to nine feet. Sorry, three yards is equal to nine feet. I could also convert to inches, right? We know that one foot is equal to 12 inches. So I'm going to take the number of feet I have from my yards, and then I'm going to multiply by 12. Nine feet times 12. Nine times 12 is 108 inches. So three yards is equal to nine feet, which is equal to 108 inches. Four jugs have water in them. Jug A has 36.5 quarts or 36 and a half quarts. Jug B has 144 cups. And Jug C has 8 and 3 fourths of a gallon. We need to order these from least to greatest. If we're going to order these from least to greatest, we need to make sure that we convert everything correctly. So I know that one quart is equal to two pints. All right? We also know that one gallon is equal to four quarts. One pint is equal to two cups. Let's see if we need anything else. We've got quarts, cups, gallons. Okay, so we should be good with these conversions to solve this. 
So let's first convert the gown. We, we're going to keep B the same. Remember, we convert to the smallest unit from a previous lesson. So B stays the same. Let's try to convert everything we have here to cups. So first, one gallon is equal to four quarts. So we've got eight gallons. Okay, so eight times four. Eight times four is 32. And then we have three-fourths of a gallon. So if we have three of those four, right, four quarts is our, um, how we're breaking this up. Well, we have three of the four quarts, so it would be 32 plus three because it is already broken into fours. So we have 35 quarts. Okay, so this is equal to 35 quarts, but we're not to gallons yet. So one quart is equal to two pints. So I need to multiply this by two to get two pints. So 35 times two is equal to 70 pints. But I'm not there yet because I'm getting to cups. One pint is two cups. So I'm going to again multiply 70 times two to get to cups. So I have 140 cups. So eight and three-fourths of a gallon is equal to 140 cups. Now we have 36.5 quarts, and 0.5 is equal to one half, right? So if you have 0.5 or 36 and one half quarts, we need to first turn that into pints. I'll switch colors here because we're on a new number. So this is for A. So 36, we're going to start with our whole number, right? So 36 times 2 to get to pints is equal to, I don't know that off the top of my head, so I'm going to do multiplication. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1. So we have 72. But don't forget this half here, right? Well, we're going to just take one of those two because it's one half, right? So we're going to add 1. So we have 73, and we're in pints right now, right? Because we just converted quarts to pints. Now we need to convert our pints to cups. Well, there are two cups in a pint. So we're going to do 73 times 2. So we have 6, 7 times 2 is 14. So that is equal to 146 cups. Now we can order these because they're all the same unit. They're all in cups. So I have 146 cups, 144 cups, and 140 cups. So it's A is, oh, we want least to greatest, right? So we need to look for the smallest one. The smallest one is jug C. Then we have jug B. And then we have jug A. So least to greatest, that's how it would look. All right. Sally caught two fish. One had to be thrown back since it was smaller than the legal limit. Sally said if that trout had been half again as long, it would have been long enough to keep. The fish was four inches long. What length is the legal limit? Well, the fish was four inches, and Sally said if that trout had been half again as long, well, what is half of four? So four, half of it, or divided by two, right? Because fractions are really division. Four divided by two is two inches. Well, it says half again, right? So the legal limit wouldn't be smaller, so we need to add again two inches. So the legal limit would have been six inches. Along the curb on Main Street, there are six trees. The Merchants Association decided to string trees along, string lights along the street. They use 100 feet of lights between each pair of trees. How many feet of light do they need? All right, well, we know that there are six trees, so we're going to draw a picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, and they're all in the line. So we don't need to, then we need to have strings of light. So this is one string of light, two strings of light, three, four, and five. They want you to multiply six times a hundred, right? But if you draw a picture, you see it's really 
100 times 5. So don't get tricked. If you get a picture like this, or a problem like this, draw a picture and it'll help you. So you have 500 feet would be how many lights you need. They are painting a huge mural at Los Amigos School. They start on Monday and finish on Friday when they painted 12 feet. Each day they painted two and a half more feet than the day before. How many feet was the mural? Okay, so when they started on Monday and finished on Friday, when they painted 12 and a half feet. So on Monday, they painted 12 feet. On Tuesday, right, we need to add two and a half to that. So plus two and one half, that would be 14 and a half, right? On Wednesday, they painted another two and a half feet. So we need to add two and a half feet to that. So it would be 14, it'd be, okay, so 14 plus two is 16 and a half and a half as a whole, so it'd be 17 feet. Thursday, and I'm gonna write this out so you see what I did. So I had 14 plus two, 14 one half plus two and one half. So I put the holes together and I got 16 and a half together, right? Okay. Thursday, if we add two and a half feet, we would have 19 and a half feet. And Friday, so we're going to add 19 and one half plus two and one half. If I put the holes together, you get 21. If you put the halves together, you get one. 21 plus one is equal to 23 feet. Now what they want us to do is how many feet long was the mural. So I need to take all of these numbers and add them together. Make a little space for me here. So I have 12 plus 14 and a half plus 17 plus 19 and a half plus 23. Let's add the fractions first. So if you have one half plus one half, that's equal to a whole, right? So because one half plus one half is equal to two halves when the numerators and denominator are the same, you have a whole, right? So let's do this. Uh, one and two is three, plus four is seven, plus seven is 14, plus nine is 23, plus three is equal to 26. Let's do that one more time in my head. One plus two is three, plus four is seven, plus seven is 14, plus nine is 23, plus three is 26. Yep, I got it. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, plus two is eight. So it's 86 feet. For homework tonight, I want you to tell me which one of these doesn't belong and write an explanation. I want two sentences to explain your answer. One foot and six inches, half a yard, 18 inches, two feet, one inch. Thank you so much for your hard work and I will see you tomorrow.